Hello, leaders, and happy eve of the eve of fall break. Um, so some of you all will see an article in the Kentucky Standard today, um, and it talks a little bit about state accountability and the release for that and uh, the implications and results of that uh, for our district um, and also for the schools in Nelson County as a whole. So I wanted to take a minute to explain a little bit about the state accountability release and the information that we are permitted to release at this point and what some of those labels might mean. Um, so, Thomas Nelson was one of the schools who was labeled as a TSI school. So that means there's a targeted group um, that the state has identified as an area that we need to pay more attention to as far as thinking about how we're supporting the whole child and the whole student. Um, so that particular group was our special ed uh, group of students. That was 11 students that they used in this accountability model part of this. It was 1.5% of our population. And they based that solely on um, reading and math for the ACT. So out of our 11 students who took the ACT last year, um, not all 11 of them met their benchmarks. Um, so what that means is, is that Thomas Nelson has been labeled as a TSI school. So what that means as far as a district-wide action step, this is just something that's an evolving conversation that's been evolving even before the state accountability scores were released. So it looks at thinking about embracing gifted minds and the whole mindset of how we are approaching the whole child in education. Um, so, and also thinking about how we're allocating resources to help support some of our students. So that's a little bit about some of our district-wide action steps. Some things that you should also know about the state accountability release, and we'll get into more details later, is that our graduation rate, our transition readiness rate, and our writing scores were all above state average. So we think about world changing implications for our students graduation rate thinking about kids being academic and career ready and then also thinking about writing and effective communication skills all above state average which is certainly something to celebrate and be proud of um, but most importantly what you need to know is this does not change and will not change the focus of our school our, our school will still be focused on community and future-centered learning. We're still thinking about ways we can inspire students to be emotionally and engaged in healthy ways, thinking about ways we can provide early college and career experiences to support our students, thinking about ways that our graduates will experience work-based learning, thinking about ways that our community partnership will continue to build and expand as we think about embracing the unicorn here, thinking about authentic assessments and authentic opportunities for our students. Most importantly, know that the work that you all do to care, connect, and create with our students on a daily basis is world changing. And it will continue to change the lives of our students as they enter our school and as they exit our school. The energy and the love and the passion that you pour into our community does not go unnoticed. So thank each and every one of you all for the work that you have put into our students and helping them think about the future that they want to create as they then go on to lead in our community.